Welcome to the Restaurant and Retail Marketing Flash Briefing. I'm Michelle Brisbois, your host. Let's get started. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and uh, we're going to look over the next few days at policies that restaurants should have, and certainly retail stores can embrace this too, but service industries uh, really struggle with sexual harassment, employee to employee, customer to employees. Uh, It's a very, very big issue. And how does this relate to marketing? Well, your employment brand, uh, your reputation as an employer will be how you attract good people in this very tight labor market. And it is part of the experience that you deliver to your customers. So topics like this are definitely marketing related. There is an excellent article in Restaurant Dive uh, called Seven Details Restaurants Need to Include in Sexual Harassment Policies. So I'm going to cover some of the things uh, day by day. Uh, we'll tackle one a day that they've covered in this article. Uh, so some of the stats are pretty sobering. Uh, did you know that more sexual harassment claims are filed in the restaurant industry than any other industry? As many as 90% of women and 70% of men report experiencing some sort of sexual harassment. That's according to Harvard Business Review. Uh, So in terms of looking at bar and restaurants decisions uh, and policies, one of the first things you should have is a definition of sexual harassment in the workplace. What does that look like? One person's definition may not be another's. Um, So you must have a clear definition so everyone's on the same page. And that includes unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, verbal or physical content, contact or conduct of a sexual nature, uh, sexual conduct made either explicitly or implicitly a term or condition of an, an individual's employment. In other words, you could lose your job if you don't go along with this. Situations where submission to or rejection of sexual conduct by an individual is used as the basis for employment decisions, you know, getting the bad shift or getting put in a section where the tips aren't so good, sexual conduct that unreasonably interferes with an individual's work performance.